Illegal immigration is costing taxpayers in the United States billions of dollars. Those costs have risen sharply over recent years. Casey Wyan has our report. These day laborers outside a Los Angeles Home Depot say it's becoming tougher to find work. They wouldn't speak on camera, but one told us he was hired here on an almost daily basis a year ago. Now it's about once a week. Nationally, the recession has increased the number of day laborers looking for work, while the number of finding jobs is down, according to the National Day Laborer Organizing Network. It acknowledges most day laborers are illegal aliens. The unemployment rate among less educated recent immigrants, those most likely to be illegal aliens, has jumped from 5 percent to 15 percent in just 18 months, says the Center for Immigration Studies. The group, which advocates lower levels of immigration, says that means welfare costs for illegal aliens also are rising. In theory, someone who's a non-citizen who hasn't been here very long shouldn't be able to use any welfare program. But it turns out that that's not exactly the way it, it works out partly because they have U.S. born children who can qualify, partly because states have different requirements, partly because the mechanisms to enforce the bar on certain programs doesn't really exist. Food stamp and welfare costs for children of illegal immigrants in Los Angeles County alone have risen 24 percent since late 2007 to $42 million in February. Add health care and law enforcement expenses, and illegal immigrants cost the county more than a billion dollars a year. The checkbook is already uh, in debt. Uh, there is no funds in the bank, and yet we're having to make cuts in other areas to support uh, the hundreds of thousands or millions of illegals that are within uh, California and the United States. Health care is a major concern. Some counties nationally are cutting benefits to illegal immigrants, pushing more to overcrowded, more costly emergency rooms. Based on studies by the Pew Hispanic Center and the Heritage Foundation, Households headed by less educated illegal aliens use $40 billion more in public services each year than they pay in taxes. Casey Wyan, CNN, Los Angeles.